Hi, I'm back here again in Google Sheets and I'm just going to give a quick overview of my Google Sheets CRM system which I've been building over the last year or so. I've added quite a lot of features since the last overview videos so I just wanted to record another one and make sure I have all those items covered. I've made a template of the sheet available for free in my previous video as well as all of the code that's associated with that and of course a six video series on how to customize this sheet and build it to suit your business. All of this is built using stock Google Sheets without any additional add-ons. So I'll start here at the home page. I have a navigation menu with all of the different areas listed and each of these is a button which you can simply click on to navigate. So first of all I'll navigate to the vehicle logbook and here is where you can log your vehicle journeys to get a breakdown between personal and business use for tax purposes and a lot of the mathematics is automatically done for you. So we have a small form up the top which we can fill in with uh, whichever is relevant data such as the client, the origin, the destination uh, and the type of usage. We also have a field for kilometers or odometer end um, you can add whichever of these suits you and the system will automatically work out which number you've entered and add its record appropriately. So there we go, we have an entry added and now we can add another entry. Uh, and this time I want to specify that I only drove 23 kilometers. I didn't check my odometer reading but that's okay because the system will work that out for me. There we go, we've driven 23 kilometers and our odometer reading has been updated to reflect that. I'll add one more and this time my odometer reading is 12399 and that's for business use and we can see that the odometer reading has been updated with what I've specified and the kilometers driven have been worked out automatically. Great. At the top of all of these screens there'll be a home button which you can click on to return to the home menu and the next sheet we'll look at is our business expenses sheet. This is going to look very similar to the vehicle logbook and it does a similar thing. It allows us to record details about particular purchases And we can also record invoice numbers. There we go, we have an entry for a particular purchase and these will continue to build up which you can then present to your accountant when you need to do your taxes or whatever you need to do with these records. You can also change the date of each entry by double clicking in this field here and changing it to whatever the relevant date is quite easy to do really. Heading home again, the next sheet that I'll take a look at is going to be my client list. And here I have entries for three clients, but I don't have individual data sheets for them. My sheets are listed down the bottom here, and I have a client sheet template, but I don't have individual data sheets for those clients. However, to add new clients to your system, all you need to do is add some or all of these details here on each individual line, and then hit the scan button at the top of the screen. As soon as I do that, uh, an individual client sheet will be generated from the template and it will be populated with that client's data. There we go, that happened pretty quickly. Now we have an individual sheet for each of these clients and we can populate that with unique data about that client. And we can also add custom interaction notes. So if, for example, if you're running um, a sales business or some sort of tech support business and you need to record interactions with your customers, you can do that here simply by filling out the form whenever the customer calls. You can specify a duration for the call. That can either be a predefined time or you can specify a custom value. 
You can also specify whether or not the call was resolved. Once you're happy with what you've filled in here, you can submit that line entry and we'll get a nice timestamped record of that customer interaction. Again, these will continue to build up with the most recent record at the very top. So you'll always know when you most recently interacted with this customer and what were the details about that particular call. Great, now that I have some customer sheets and I've done some work for these customers, I can start with invoicing. So first of all, we'll head on home to our client list and then home to our main page. We can navigate to invoicing. And now we can start building an invoice for that customer. We can choose the customer from the drop down and all of their details will be automatically populated into these fields. Your own business details are listed over here as well as payment details here. And then you can begin to populate your invoice with whatever items are relevant to that customer. We have line totals for each of the uh, individual items as well as uh, a grand total down here. We can apply a discount if we want to, which will automatically be calculated, as well as if any deposit were received, we can apply that here as well. Once you're happy with how the invoice has been filled out, you can go ahead and hit the print button and a copy of that invoice will be automatically generated as a PDF stored on your Google Drive. And if you've added it, you can also automatically email the customer with a copy of the link to that file and a copy of the file itself as an attachment. And there will be more details about how to do that in the previous video. Now that we've sent off this invoice, we can take a look at our invoice history and we can see that we have a line entry for this invoice here. We can see it's unpaid as well as the total due and the number of days lapsed. And now if we take a look at our client list, we can see that our column for paid up has no in the field for this customer, meaning that they have an outstanding invoice. And if we want to know more about that, we can type the customer's name in here, select it from the drop down, and then hit go to sheet. So if we have a couple of hundred customers, we can easily navigate between their sheets using that data validation. Now that we're at this customer's data sheet, we can see over here the details about the unpaid invoices. We have a column for the invoice number as well as the total due. And at the very top, we have a summary of how many invoices are outstanding and their grand total. Once we come back to our invoice history sheet and this invoice has been paid, we can select it as having been paid. All of the ancillary data here will be blanked. We can take a look at our client list and see that this customer is now paid up and navigating to their sheet. We don't have any entries in the unpaid invoices column here. And the last remaining parts of this system are a sheet for site logins, where we can store different information about uh, logins for our various uh, services, such as uh, emails, web services, things like that. We have a sheet for prices and rates where we can add products, which will then be populated into our invoice sheets if we choose them. This is really quite straightforward and none of this is necessary except for an item name and of course a price. The descriptions are optional and you can have custom descriptions in your invoice fields here which will overwrite the formula that's in that cell. But each time you submit your invoice The invoice will be blanked and the formulas will be returned to this cell. And lastly, I have a sheet for reference info, which is really just anything that doesn't fit into any other part of the system that you want to keep a record of. So there you have it. This is a free, uh, simple and relatively easy to customize CRM system and small business management system, which you can use if you're just starting out or if you have a small business you can use something like this to get started. So I do hope that you found that useful and interesting. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing many other variants out there in the wild and being made use of in the real world. 
Okay, so there is one more feature of this sheet, and I do consider it to be probably the most important feature, but I'm not going to demonstrate what it is for you here. You'll have to download the sheet yourself and click on the header bar to find out what it does. So I hope that's been helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Okay, fine. I won't make you wait. I'll show you what it is.